Hi guys, so now we're going to look at some exam board exemplars of just how to absolutely crush these 9 and 12 mark answers, okay? Uh, so this one is one of the uh, papers that we've looked at on this channel. Uh, so Zoella Beauty, uh, okay, so there we've got the question. Uh, okay, let's just start uh, by going back to the actual case study. Here she is. Uh, okay, so you may just want to do a little BMC analysis here. Try to uh, make sure that you're pulling out these points of application. Application is so important if you want to sit grade 7, 8, 9 in particular, okay? You've really got to get that across. Even if you're uh, going for, say, grade 5, you still want to be able to uh, pull out some application. Using figures like 7.5 million subscribers, okay? Um, we've also got 400,000 down here, okay? Those are really easy bits of... Um, application that you can draw out of this all right she's clearly got uh, a very strong brand here uh, all right so uh, it's a lifestyle blog etc like it's really straightforward to actually pull out those points of application so focus on the business itself uh, the scoper analysis as we've said before what are the strengths of it any weaknesses you spot uh, how does it operate uh, sorry what is cost and revenues uh, so where does it actually bring money in? Um, what about the uh, way in which it operates? Okay, well, it's all on YouTube, of course. Um, the positioning of her brand as well. So, uh, and finally, uh, what sort of audience is she after? Okay, all right, so here's the question. Um, so you may just want to have a crack at that now and just practice those sorts of structures that we've been working through. Right, let's crack on then. Uh, okay, so this is our first paragraph here from uh, an example that I got from the example, which I've just adapted, okay? Uh, and we can see five clear strands of interconnected points which ultimately favor this uh, choice of option one. So this is like a perfect response here for the paragraph one section of your nine mark response. Uh, absolutely loving this. All right. Uh, see if you can go through there and pull out uh, pieces of application. How many bits of application can you actually see? All right. So uh, great stuff. Let's uh, move it along. Uh, so now we've got our uh, counter argument. Uh, so well, this is a shorter paragraph and this is, you know, identifying that point. It's almost like on one hand, on the other hand. Okay, so, you know, however is a really nice connective to actually uh, start that sentence. And then you've got that BLT style approach. Can you see more application in there? Is, if there is an application in there, then it can't be a top level response. Um, and then finally, we've got our judgment, okay? So here's our final judgment being made. Uh, is there application being made in there? What do you think? Great stuff. So let's have a look at what the examiners have actually said about this, okay? So uh, for paragraph one, that uh, there's the required five link strands which explain why promotion is likely to be effective for Zoella. Fine. Okay. What about the next bit? Paragraph two offers some balance uh, to point being outlined in paragraph one, okay? Uh, however, look, the examiner loves this, okay? However, acts as a steer to the examiner, suggesting that evaluation is now being attempted by the candidate. And then we've got a uh, bit of balance being provided in that final judgment, okay? R uh, by giving rep reference to the competitiveness of the environment with uh, rivals such as Boots and Lush. All right, so, yeah, the final paragraph brings the arguments together and offers a final justification as to why promotion will be the better option. The candidate goes beyond simple repeating of what has already been said. Uh, okay, and there's some original thinking. Love it. Okay, right. So let's now uh, move on to a paper two evaluate style question. Here we've got the case study. So once again, you might just want to practice uh, your ability to actually generate points of application. 
and next we've got the question okay so using your knowledge of business evaluate the importance of function within gopro's design mix okay so the design mix of course you've got to be clear on this so that's obviously about the functionality of the product that it's got to be able to work well that it's got to have the right aesthetics okay and it's got to be effectively and cost effectively produced uh right so uh, here's the first bit. Now this text has come out uh, quite small here actually, but uh, nevertheless we can see one, two, three, four, five um, interconnected points being made here. Uh, and this is all about the high quality since they're waterproof and shockproof. So we can see immediately in that first, that first element uh, while the candidate hasn't given a definition and said, oh, you know, why functionality is so important, okay, to these uh, cameras and is perhaps the most important aspect, okay, they have still included application in their very first sentence. You ultimately want the examiner giving you a big fat tick in the first sentence you write. Uh, so we've got our five connected points. Uh, what further application can we see so we've got image stabilization software okay so pause the video have a little read through that see what you think now the candidate then actually really goes to town on this and continues this paragraph further um, by extending this out a lot further here okay and this first paragraph doesn't need to be as long as this and that's why i've separated these on two separate slides this is just like amazing for a first paragraph you don't need what the candidate has subsequently done here that's not actually generating any extra marks for the uh, student okay so now we've got our, our uh, uh, counter argument look at this word again being used however so you know really useful connective to use um, and what can we see okay well well, we've got five connected uh, sentences here. Again, it doesn't need to be quite as long as this, okay? So if you do this well, you can then just use uh, three, but given there wasn't a clear definition at the start in the context, um, then it makes sense to actually extend this a little bit further. So that's, that's okay. Uh, and then finally, we've got the overall judgment and we can see uh, the candidate is concluding on what's most important, okay, so the function, um, and is also looking at cost as being becoming a much more important element within the design mix, and that is because of cheap competitors such as uh, Xiaomi, uh, okay, so it means that increasingly GoPro will need to be able to actually uh, compete cost effectively as well and the candidates really sharp on that so fair play to them they've done a fine job there right so let's have a look at what the examiner said about this uh so the level of understanding was excellent and level three was awarded for a01b okay in paragraph two there were at least five linked strands okay there was actually more than more than that okay and uh as the examiner has said here it was unnecessary okay it was overly long okay and the counter argument uh, there was also an explanation to why the cost element of the design mix could be rising in importance for the uh, uh, following the arrival of uh, competitors. Absolutely love that. And then, uh, yeah, you know, they love the use of these uh, these powerful connectives. Like, however, on the other hand, and so on. Uh, and then, final paragraph in conclusion, which sets up another steer to the examiner, basically. Okay, and uh, yeah, with four strong level threes for each skill area, the candidate was awarded twelve out of twelve. So. Uh, Great stuff, guys. I hope that's been uh, a pretty useful video for uh, really helping you hit the high notes on uh, that evaluate uh, question as well as the justify question, okay? Of the two questions, the justify question is most important, of course, representing 18 marks of uh, your each exam. Okay, great stuff. See you next time.